Lucky Lucy, and I just woke up from a nap, um, because I was dead asleep, and, uh, I woke up because I had a peer support appointment, uh, and she was outside, and I was like, oh my goodness, um, so I jumped up and, uh, let her in, and me and her got to share a special moment together. I was gonna save this for camera, but sometimes... Uh, these, I mean, these videos do mean a lot to me, but sometimes in-person interactions are far more important. And uh, this woman has been my peer support for a few months now, and she sees the work in the house, but I wanted to share the special moment of revealing the door to her, because I haven't even seen it since it's been pressed. Um, you know, I had to put those presses on for the glue, and so I did. I shared that moment with her, and um, I love it. Unfortunately, um, the glue, uh, I pressed it, and but then I set the door up because I was being impatient. So some of the glue did like dribble down. <sighs> so I'm going to have to kind of pick that up and maybe touch up the spots uh, that peels up the paint from the glue. But it did come out good. So let me go ahead and show you. Ready, you guys? Are you ready? I'm so excited. Okay, let's. very well. Um, let me put it in a clip. Hold on. Okay. So, I think it turned out great. Minus the, the wood glue parts that kind of fell. I, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Uh, Tammy and Brittany, they all call it my Alice in Wonderland doors because they are just a little bit unique. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and install them now because it has been a few days already that I've been working on this. And I can nitpick it all day long and hope it's perfect and then watch me continue to work on the house and scuff it or something. Uh, but, um, so I am now going to put the hinges, actually... I already put the doorknob on it that I really like. It's one of those classic, uh, like, vintage glass doorknobs, uh, but it's modern, so it's plastic, and uh, it has a little, like, safety locks, uh, what do they call that, privacy lock on the back of it because it is a bathroom door, and, you know, you want to be able to lock your door when you're in it. Uh, so, you know, a little vintage, vintage feel but still modern and functional. Um, but And I already put the hinges on this side, so now all I have to do is actually get the hinges onto the doorway. So keep watching and uh, watch it work. Let's go. Okay, one moment. Okay, I've gotten to the point where I'm putting this guy on that like keeps the door closed, I guess. And line her up.
more on camera like the panel situation going on here. But um, I am so proud of myself. Look at that. And this is one door. I have one that's going to look just like that for the bedroom door. But, you know, 50 bucks if you count the, uh, the doorknob I did spend a little money on. But sometimes you just need a little, a little extra, like zhuzh. Um, but it's well worth it. Okay, guys, my door is officially in. Look at that! I'm so happy for it. Oh my god! Like it just, it's just like. Oh, you need to use the bathroom? Just come right in. Look at that. I would say there's so much privacy, but when you open it, there's no walls. <laughs> We're still in frames. So, um, maybe putting in doors was a little premature because I still have electrical and uh, drywall to put up. But I needed to do something a little creative and um, just kind of break out of the norm a little bit. And it's still productive because eventually I will need doors. So, I'm glad I did it. I feel great. Um, and I had a job interview today for like my dream job and I, I don't know how it went. You know, after I get out of a job interview, there's always, like, that initial wave of self-doubt of, like, thinking about what you've said or what I've said and, like, how I could have said it better. But I'm going to leave it in God's hands. I did the best I could. I left my resume, and uh, hopefully they can see that those what's on the resume are not just words. They are actions, and I'm very proud of what I'm doing, and I just, I hope that it's, it's meant to be. I really do because I'm really nervous about it. Um, but it's it's just it's it's something I really want. I really want to do. I want to be able to help people and inspire people. And uh, hopefully this job will allow me to do that in this town. Um, but if not, I'm still going to create these videos and I'm still going to do what I think is best uh, to get the message out there that it's it's okay to be who you are. Embrace it, love it, and be better your standard of better, whatever it is that will make you grow and thrive in this life. And um, again, I'm, show I'm doing it through actions. It's possible, you guys. Even through all the shittiness, all the bad stuff, it is possible to grow and be strong and to be happy and to love life. It is. So... With that said, I'm going to end the video here. Got a door. I got it clean up because, like, look, there is just a mess everywhere. I made a huge mess. <laughs> so I'm going to clean it up and, I don't know, see, see, what's, see what's next. Let's see what else I get into. <laughs> All right, keep, keep following me for more. And uh, I love you guys. And always find your support. Because, you know, we can't do it by ourselves. Says the girl who's so stubborn and does everything by herself. Because I know it, I live it, and it's so much better. Hey, I got a doorway. You need to go through the door? I got you. Look. It's a door. It's got a door.